Hello you YouTubers, I hope everybody's doing well. So this is the second video uh, I'm gonna put up tonight. I'm gonna see if I can get another video out in a little bit too. Uh, I think I talked about there's a lot of information going on right now. 26th and 27th, uh, you know, you have the President Barack Hussein Obama will be in Denver on the 27th. NASA will be there. Uh, some big energy companies will also be there and uh, <coughs> it's a very interesting location so in the other video I left was at uh, the 26th but I decided to go back a little bit and actually look at the 25th and um, there's a lot of reports going on now today is uh, uh, Friday the uh, 16th and a lot of people are kind of talking about how cold it is well uh, I don't know I'll throw this out there you know make up your own mind could it be possible that this particular comet L and N is siphoning the heat from the Sun and the Sun looks like it's shining as usual but this particular comet is actually siphoning the heat from the Sun which would drop the temperatures it would cause storms, it would cause an, an increase in uh, different air changes um, so this is the 25th and again this is below um, Again, our view is in the east, and this line going around represents below um, the sky. Um, what we have here is we have 2011, September 25th, and the clock is going forward. So I'm going to slowly progress this. Let's have a look at what happens. And you can see that on this date, this particular comet is right in the, the shine of the sun. So could it be that this comet as it generates more and more um, siphoning heat from the sun it ignites and actually blocks out the sun becomes a mass kind of like a object in the sky maybe it shines blue green right in front of the sun and if we actually have a look at this we have Venus we have Saturn and we have the moon and this is the 25th coming up on that morning so let's have a look and we go forward a little bit let's go into the 26th so look at that that's an amazing day in itself because it's extremely bright even though the sun is coming up it's still a very bright day okay so let's get through this a little bit okay so it's gonna go off do its thing I have no idea why it just did that it went straight to the 29th isn't that interesting hmm went straight to the 29th I wonder why. Okay, what's on the 29th? Maybe this is what I need to talk about. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so we have Leo coming up. And now we have... Here's the 30th. Coming up to, the, to this E, it's going to be sunrise again. Let's have a look. See what happens. Hmm, we have a lot of things going on there in Virgo. Not as... Wow, that's some sunrise. Okay, so Virgo's coming up, and kind of interesting again. In the daytime sky, we're going to have this particular area here. Is it possible that if this doesn't ignite, um, that we, we don't see it, it just bypasses the sun, it just impacts us somehow? But it just happens to be over here in the, uh, the skull or the head of Virgo let's go into Virgo a little bit let's actually have a closer look so this is Virgo uh, let's see what we have do we have actually well we have a moon, the moon down here that's interesting um, we have the sun kind of in around her shoulder mm, very pretty and yeah, she has a nice and then we have Elnin 
over here near our head, I guess kind of like a crown. Well, let's have a look at that, see if we can find that anywhere. And <coughs> let's actually play this. So I'm going to play this for you guys. Revelation 12 A great and wondrous sign appeared in heaven A woman clothed with the sun With the moon under her feet And a crown of twelve stars on her head She was pregnant and cried out in pain As she was about to give birth then another sign appeared in heaven, an enormous red dragon with seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns on his heads. His tail swept a third of the stars out of the sky and flung them to the earth. The dragon stood in front of the woman who was about to give birth so that he might devour her child the moment it was born. She gave birth to a son, a male child, who will rule all the nations with an iron scepter. And a child was snatched up to God and to his throne. The woman fled into the desert to a place prepared for her by God where she might be taken care of for 1,260 days. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon and his angels fought back. But he was not strong enough, and they lost their place in heaven. The great dragon was hurled down, that ancient serpent called the devil or Satan, who leads the whole world astray. He was hurled to the earth, and his angels with him. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven say, Now have come the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Christ. For the accuser of our brothers, who accuses them before our God day and night, has been hurled down. They overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. They did not love their lives so much as to shrink from death. Therefore rejoice, you heavens, and you who dwell in them. But woe to the earth and the sea, because the devil has gone down to you. He is filled with fury because he knows that his time is short. When the dragon saw that he had been hurled to the earth, he pursued the woman who had given birth to the male child. The woman was given the two wings of a great eagle so that she might fly to the place prepared for her in the desert where she would be taken care of for a time, times and half a time, out of the serpent's reach. Then from his mouth the serpent spewed water like a river to overtake the woman and sweep her away with the torrent. But the earth helped the woman by opening its mouth and swallowing the river that the dragon had spewed out of his mouth. Then the dragon was enraged at the woman and went off to make war against the rest of her offspring, those who obey God's commandments and hold to the testimony of Jesus. So, I wanted to kind of touch on a little Revelation bit with, um, with uh, palms. This is the little thing that uh, President Barack Obama talked about uh, a week or so ago, Palms 26, a very interesting uh, verse actually. Let's have a look at it. And the dragon stood on the shore of the sea. And I saw a beast come out of the sea. He had ten horns and seven heads with ten crowns on his horns and on each head a blasphemous name. The beast I saw resembled a leopard but had feet like those of a bear, and a mouth like that of a lion. The dragon gave the beast his power and his throne and great authority. One of the heads of the beast seemed to have had a fatal wound, but the fatal wound had been healed. The whole world was astonished and followed the beast. Men worshipped the dragon because he had given authority to the beast, and they also worshipped the beast and asked, who is like the beast? Who can make war against him? The beast was given a mouth to utter proud words and blasphemies and to exercise his authority for 42 months. He opened his mouth to blaspheme God and to slander his name and his dwelling place and those who live in heaven. He was given power to make war against the saints and to conquer them. 
and he was given authority over every tribe, people, language, and nation. All inhabitants of the earth will worship the beast. Oh, I think it should have been uh, 46. So let's have a look at that. All whose names have not been... Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within her, she will not fall. God will help her at break of day. Nations are in uproar. Kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice. The earth melts. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come and see the works of the Lord. The desolation he has brought on the earth. He makes wars cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. just wanted to kind of put those two verses out there and uh, Palms 26 is also interesting has uh, you know some uh, interesting words in it um, ah sure might as well end that yep alright that'll take care of itself so we're still on uh, 